Hello, everyone. I'm glad to be able to speak to you virtually about the teaching aid that I developed for AISC. Before I introduce the aid itself, I want to describe its inspiration. I see too many errors like this in my introductory steel design course, where the students subtract out two holes to get the net area when they should only subtract out one. When the students are starting out, they don't necessarily have a feel for what the drawing is representing or the limit states they are calculating. They may have never seen up close at least a steel angle, let alone one with holes drilled through for bolts. All the necessary details are there in the 2D drawing, but the important cross section is perpendicular to the page. And that's a jump. Two dimensional representations are no doubt useful but they are often not a good substitute for the three-dimensional reality for folks that are just starting out. This is not just true for connections. Buckling is another area where I sense that students have a difficult time visualizing what is happening. Physical models work great to bridge these gaps, but you can't always lug them around, which means they aren't always available when you need them or when it would be most beneficial for the students to have them. And that brings me to the three-dimensional model viewer for illustrating structural steel concepts. Three-dimensional digital models are a pretty good substitute for physical models. And this website makes it easy to use them in a steel design course. Just navigate through the AISC Teaching Aid website or go to the URL shown in red. You can use your computer or smartphone. What you'll find are sets of collections Initially, a set of four collections was developed on tension member connections. With a follow on project, we developed four more collections on buckling. Each collection has several three dimensional models plus more related content. The connection collections have two dimensional drawings and calculations. The buckling collections have commentary. Both have more fun pages with interesting facts and questions for further exploration. The models are designed to each highlight an important feature of behavior. Uh, this collection of a WT collection uh, connection has a set of models that show three different block shear rupture failure modes. And they're not just static images. Uh, you can rotate and zoom these on the website. I would show that to you if I had better video editing skills. This collection features multiple possible buckling modes for a braced wide flange column. We have lateral torsional buckling, flange local buckling, shear buckling, and more in the I-shaped plate girder collection. I plan to use this teaching aid as a visual aid in lectures. We'll try and avoid uh, attempts at three-dimensional drawings on the whiteboard. I also think it'll be very helpful in office hours for explaining net area and other concepts in a one-on-one -on -one setting. I also imagine that students are gonna use this on their own. It's gonna be there when they need it most, working on homeworks or studying for exams. With that, I'd like to uh, quickly thank those who have contributed to the development of this teaching aid namely uh, my PhD student, Peter Talley, as well as others at the University of Tennessee who developed the website. Several uh, members of the review committees that AISC put together to provide valuable feedback on this work, as well as AISC itself for funding the development of this project. Before I go, I would also like to note that uh, we built this site to be extensible. Directions for contributing are also on the website. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you find this teaching aid useful.